Man. Damn, USC. It's your boy Carter Sports in the building, man. SC, I thought we had this one. I thought we had this one. I thought SC could win this one. Offense came out on fire. Offense came out electric. Caleb was looking like that boy again. He was looking like a man on a mission. He was magical. So I'm like, for sure. I like how this game going. Caleb looking magical in the run game was beasting. That was one of my keys on my last USC video for the, for the future of the season. Like against Washington and Oregon, we got to run the ball. We got to dedicate to running the ball. And that's what they did. They was running the ball, so I feel good. They averaged 9.7 yards a carry. They averaged 10 yards a pop. They averaged a first down on the run, 9.7 yards. So I'm like, we good. I'm like, we good. We looking good. Until I realized USC couldn't stop a tall sweep. They couldn't stop a tall sweep, left or right. Dylan Johnson ran for 254 yards on tall sweeps. It's crazy out there. On tall sweeps. He ran for 254 or 256 for four touchdowns on the same play. Why? Because U.S. defense just shoot a gap and hold somebody there. That's why. And Michael Penix, Michael Penix didn't even have to be spectacular. He pick and choose spots. He made a scramble through one in the back of the end zone, show why he going to the NFL, but he didn't even have to be spectacular. Michael Penix was regular. He was sort of like a game manager. All he had to do was really just manage the game. How I'm looking at it. Why Caleb, why Penix is managing the game, following a good game plan, keep running the play that USC can't stop or refuse to stop. Why they keep on running the play that can't, SC cannot stop it or they just refuse to stop it. Caleb Williams is running for his life the whole time on the other sideline. Caleb constantly running for his life all game. When USC was running the ball at will. Every first and second down, they should have ran the ball. They should have never threw the ball. Not one time on first or second. You averaging 9.7. Slow that pass rush down. These 300-pound linemen was made to push people and move people out the way, not chase people to a spot. They ain't made the pass rush all day. They made the lay hat. Let them lay hat. Austin Jones could have had 254 if he got enough carries. Darwin Barlow could have had 254 if he got enough carries. Caleb running for his life. And at the same time, Michael Pennis got all day to throw. Sitting back in a pocket, about to throw a party. Having a group chat text. Talking about what they eating at tonight. And USC, you know they can't tackle, man. You know they can't tackle. Miss tackles again. We already know that. And Washington couldn't run all year. Washington couldn't run all year. USC had Nebraska had Washington looking like 95 Nebraska with Tommy Frazier and Lawrence Phillips. God bless his soul. They was looking like 95 Nebraska. 
USC defense is just soft, man. And they ain't even soft. The scheme soft. The players not soft. The scheme soft. Let me just shoot a gap and hope a man in there. It's crazy out there like that, man. Hoping the ball carrier somewhere. Hoping you ain't running out the play. Hoping he dialed up the right tech mobile play so we could blow up the play, right? And I couldn't help but think watching this game. I couldn't help but think if we had a defense, this team would have been competing for a national championship. This team would have competed for a national championship. This team would have lost one game all year max. It would have lost one game all year max if they had a good defense. And I ain't never seen the worst defense in my life. Period. On all levels in all sports. I never seen the defense worse in my life. I never seen something that was so built to fail. How did USC end up with the worst defensive coach of all times? And I ain't exaggerating. How we end after... After hell, you think we had some luck. This the universe, but how? <laughs> Grinch is worse than Hilton, for real. And Lincoln Riley, he wasted Caleb Williams' career, betting on Alice Grinch. How I'm looking at it? How I'm looking at it? It's sad. At this point, Alex Grinch should fire himself and find a new career. For real, for real, though. He should fire himself and find a new career. Fire yourself, boy. It's crazy out here. And I feel bad for Kayla. I feel bad for Kayla, man. He the best in the world. And won't ever play for a natty. Won't never play for a natty. At first, it used to be the NCAA knocking USC over. Now it's SC knocking it itself over. They won't get it together, man. And they let Oregon kill us in recruiting. That has got a larger Russia. Oregon building a powerhouse because we waiting on rule changes to set our NIL shit together. It's crazy out there. We falling years behind, man. We falling years behind. Lincoln Riley then wasted one of the greatest quarterbacks of all times. For Alex Grinch, man. We are winning the travesty. We will look back on these days and forever regret. We will forever regret these days. And I ain't gonna never forgive Riley for tricking off Caleb for Grinch. This could have been something special, man. We really could have won a natty. That's what I realized watching this game. We really could have won a natty. If we just had a defense. Imagine if we had a defense that forced punts and three and outs and even gave the offense more possession. How many think, man, how many points would we have scored this season if we had a defense that stopped more possessions than they gave up scores? Imagine the type of numbers. If we had an elite defense could play on a short field sometime. Could have 13, 14 possessions in the game sometime. Because the defense is so elite. I think USC only had the ball once or twice in the first quarter. Imagine a defense that's so good, we getting the ball three or four times each quarter. But we getting the ball like two, two and a half times a quarter. You watch USC games, the offense getting like 11, 12 possessions, 10, 11. Imagine we was getting 13-14 because we got a defense. 
it would be lethal. But nah, man, we tricked it. We tricked it off. But hopefully falling this far going to make USC get to it. And we're going to see what this organization about. We're going to see what Lincoln Riley really made of, man. And next we got Oregon. So it's, it's going to look like it's going to get worse before it's getting better. Huh? I'm looking at it. We about to see what USC and Lincoln Riley made of, man. I hope you all ready. It's looking rough. We're going to have to stick it out. But we going to see. We going to see. We going to see. We still got a chance for Lincoln Riley to get it through his head and say, you know what? I'm going to get a top-notch defensive coordinator and we finna recruit like we supposed to. Until then, y'all, man, we going to fight on, man. Lincoln Riley wasted Caleb's career on Alex Grinch. It's Carter Sports, y'all. I'll be back with another SC video. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Tune in with me. Fight on.